Send out every available man. There's no doubt that Miss Courtney and Mr. Kelly are in the hands of Nazi agents. That was Marlowe, upriver. Mr. Elliot doesn't think they've left Ambrose, sir. He's gone to search the Silver Star again. Why, the man's mad. Mr. Elliot is convinced, sir, that Mr. Kelly and Miss Courtney have been hidden by the Nazis somewhere on board the schooner. Talking to Tambosa Tim, I'm sure they're still on board. Taking the guard away certainly gave Drake a chance to come back. I hope so. That's why we're here. I'm going below. Very good, sir. This is where you've been hiding. Hiding? How do you get into this thing? Well, the, the captain pried it open with a knife. Come on, hurry up, will ya? Here. Did you anything? Just murmurings and the gunshots. We didn't hear that. Drake saved my life by yelling a warning. Getting eaten, I guess, with whoever double-crossed him. You didn't miss the murderer by more than minutes. Long enough for him to get away. Anything else interesting under there? No, no one, no one I know. I don't mind looking into it. Good. Drake was killed with the same knife that was used to murder Pam's uncle. That tripwire operated some sort of German automatic rifle. Automatic, huh? I wonder if they got any more of those babies around here. I say, look what I found. Did you find this under the bunk? Mm -hmm. What those? Full report on the real ship's cargo. Rifles, Mausers, and ammunition. What a haul. No such luck. That cargo was unloaded. I know, because I searched this tub earlier. If we find the arsenal, we find the Nazis. Those rifles are probably on their way to the natives by now. Hmm. These papers indicate a number of shipments. We know there aren't many natives armed. There must be an arsenal near here someplace. Pam's right, Chuck. The Nazis wouldn't arm the natives until they have them under their control. And that's really what we've got to stop. Okay, where do we go from here? Tambosa Thames. Pam, you'll report to Chatterton. I'll phone him and tell him you're coming. The constable will escort you. If I'm not back in five minutes, you do your stuff, huh? Nothing will please me more. Looking for somebody? Yeah, where's your boss? Ambosa Tim. And he'll be here any minute. I like visitors, I do. 
And I always give them the best, the very best. <laughs> Busy. Busy. Going someplace, Tambo Sotel? Now, what made you ask that? I never go no place. Never do. I let people come to me. <laughs> well, what can I do you for? Boil me in oil. Tear my skin off, strip by strip, and you won't get another yarn out of me because I'm telling you the truth. Sure, sure, but where is Bob now? He went out the back door, just like I said. And he told me to tell you to follow him. Yeah, I know what you said. But why did he leave here in the first place? He said he saw someone looking in that window. If you're lying, you hogshead, I'll be back. Don't move. Friend is already on his way to something he wants to speak to you, too. You talk too much. Frisk him. I'm Swedish. The idea of another war seems less real to me, perhaps, than it does to you. Yes. Sweden has managed to remain honorably at peace with the world for quite a long time. But these Nazi agents... Where's Pam? Well, I've been waiting for her here, ever since Mr. Elliot called from the riverfront to tell me that you and she were safe. Haven't you heard from Bob since? No, not a word. Gentlemen, if you will excuse me. Good night, Mr. Kelly. Good night, Dr. Bork. Good night, Roger. Good night. What's happened? The commissioner's office. Roger's here. What? Yes. Yes, I'll tell him. What was it, Rogers? Two of your constables have just found the officer who was escorting Miss Courtney. Dead? No, fortunately. Unconscious. Struck down from behind. Barbie has gone, too. It doesn't pay, Elliot, to be curious about Germany. You wanted to find out about us for a long time. You won't have to wait any longer than tomorrow. Is there another prisoner coming? Yes. Yeah. Elliot's old friend, Mr. Kelly. I don't think old friends should be separated. How much to part now? Don't let them escape. We won't. Men, but I shall question the other two in the morning. And now, tell me about your magnificent success in the jungle. What about Godak? He has agreed to cooperate with us fully. He will name Marty to succeed him. Godak must know that Marty was willing to kill him. What do we really want of Godak? Why, the secret, of course, that gives him his power as the supreme judge of the Middle Jungle tribes. The hiding place, that is, of the sword of Tangu. He cannot act as judge of the Middle Jungle unless he carries that sword. I shall let Berlin know your achievements at once. One thing more. Yes? Godak has agreed to order the execution of Lothel, the mystery queen of the jungle. Is it customary for Germany to keep her allies in chains? You'll be released, Godak, as soon as Lang knows that you're telling the truth. Then I will be freed soon. Marty will find the sword of Tongu where I told him to look for it. I won't be sorry leaving these caves. Another day, another game of cards. Am I tired of this job? Neither Marty nor the strangers have discovered that you are leading them to their destruction. It's the only way, Lord, now to rid our jungle of these enemies and traitors. Control of the natives means helping Germany gain control of all Africa. It also means war in Europe. 
That's why I came back here purposely, Marty, to see that nothing goes wrong. I have fixed everything. How about the sword of Tangu? I saw the sword where Godak said it was. Well, bring Godak back here tomorrow. You're a Nazi, Tamboza, Tim. Oh, I am. Prove it. Chatterton was right. He said I couldn't, so I won't even try. Nothing unlawful, sir. Like this, you mean? Well, you get over here, too. <laughs> you can't scare Tambosa Tim that easy. Kill me and the English law and hang you for it. That won't help you. Now, where are the Nazis holding my friends? There's nothing he can do now. I guess you mean it. There's no mine south of here. You'll find your friends there, together with some guns from Captain Drake's schooner. There's only one mind, Zeb. If you're not telling the truth... I am, this time. And you've also confessed being a Nazi. Then I rest you in the name of His Majesty the King. You're in deep. If I were you, I'd talk. Talk about what? Who's in charge of Nazi agents here in Tambosa? I got Tim and gave Kelly the slip. Nobody's following me now. But Kelly knows about the mine. You fool. You listen. I ordered you to shoot. I didn't think Tamboso Tim would talk. And if he hadn't... Who asked you to think? No, I must sacrifice all our munitions. Keller will take constables to the mine. Yes, but... I will not let the English have our supplies. Fortunately, I've prepared for just such an unpleasant emergency. Keller will never see his friends again. Yes, Mr. Kelly is taking my car and leaving for the mine now. Yes, you better send two more cars. What? Oh, you send at least six constables. Mr. Elliot and Miss Courtney must be saved. Only those Nazis will stay outside a little longer. 